Hey folks, uh, I'm your host HK. Welcome to the Android Guy. Now before you watch this video, let me tell you that it's a completely unscripted video. I did not prepare for this video. I just woke up today morning and I was like, hmm, Marshmallow is not officially releasing on my phone anytime soon. Now me, I'm a very impatient kind of a person and I cannot wait till Marshmallow officially launches. So this is a video of me installing Marshmallow on my phone, unofficially. Now before I proceed with the installation of Marshmallow on my device, let me quickly go ahead and show you that my device is running on Android version 5.1.1, that's Android version Lollipop. So if I go to Android settings and in about phone, and as you can see right there, it says Android version 5.1.1, which is basically Android version Lollipop. So as you can see, my device is currently running on Lollipop. Now I had already downloaded the Marshmallow file which you're gonna be installing on my device right now. It's basically a Cyan Engine mod ROM running on Android version 6 Marshmallow and I got it directly from their official website which is right here. Now it's a pretty small file, it's only about uh, 296 MB, that's roughly about 300 MB. Now even though it's a custom ROM but it's a near stock version of Marshmallow near stock because it looks and feels exactly like it does on Nexus devices plus it also has some additional Cyan Engine mod features which I'll be showing you later in the video. So I had already downloaded the marshmallow.zip file so now I'll be booting into my custom recovery on my device and installing marshmallow or more specifically I'll be flashing marshmallow on my device. Now I had already made a very detailed video tutorial about flashing or installing ROMs that is upgrading your Android version. So do watch that video after you watch this one. The links to that video will be down below the thumbs up button. And whatever I'll be showing you from now on is shown in that video but in greater detail. So I'll be going quickly through this process to save time. First of all I'll turn off my device. Right there let's power it off. Alright, I got a haptic feedback which means my device is completely turned off. Now I'll have to use both of my hands to get into the recovery mode. First of all, I'll have to press the power button here, then I'll have to press the volume up key at the same time for a couple of seconds and our device, rather than booting on, will enter into recovery mode. And after the boot animation pops up, we're gonna release that and boom, our device is in recovery, custom recovery menu. Now my device is running on TWRP custom recovery which is a very useful user friendly touch based recovery system and from now on I'm gonna follow the setup procedures that I showed in that video to install Marshmallow on my device. First of all I'm gonna go ahead and wipe my data and cache partition so let's open up the wipe menu over here let's go to advanced wipe and let's wipe in the cache the data and the system and once the temporary data and the cache partition is cleaned wiped uh, let's go ahead and install the rom so we're gonna click on the install button over here but before i do that let me tell you that i had already created a backup of my lollipop rom which contains all my you know contacts data and stuff so in case if i screw up or in case anything goes wrong i could easily recover my device and bring it back to normal by hitting on this button right here but luckily nothing will go wrong so first of all uh, let's tap on uh, on the install button right here and now we'll have to find where we kept the rom now since i downloaded it directly on my device it should be somewhere down at the bottom yep we got it there as you can see third from the bottom we have cm 13.0 which is cyan engine mod rom 13.0 is basically the code word for android version marshmallow so let's tap on that and now it's asking if I want to add another zip file which is no so let's uh, just swipe that and our device started to flash the marshmallow rom now this can take a while this will usually take between uh, 10 to 15 minutes but since our rom is a very lightweight rom it's only 300 MB this process will take somewhere between 2 to 3 minutes so in order to not to bore you to death I'm gonna skip this part Alright, I got a haptic feedback which means the process is successful and at the top as you can see it says success, that's good news. So now without touching anything else, I'm gonna tap on the reboot system button right here and the device will pretty much restart and hopefully this time the device will directly boot into Marshmallow. Alright, we got the boot screen animation, that's the Cyan Engine Mod ROM boot logo, that's a good news which means the ROM did flash properly. 
Now guys, the first boot after installing a new ROM will take a while. This usually takes between 5 to 15 minutes. So again, I'm gonna skip this part. So if you get till this point, which means if a device shows that Android is starting and apps are getting optimized, that means the entire process did work out fine and the ROM file was good and it worked pretty well. And once that is done, congratulations, you'll get the Cyan Engine mod welcome screen. Let's go ahead and set the language. Let's change it to English. Where is English? Uh, just a second. All right, there we have English. Let's tap on that. Let's hit on next. Let me quickly go ahead and skip the welcome screen part. All right, and boom, there we have it. There we have the new version of Android, Marshmallow. And, and it only took us about 10 minutes to get from Lollipop to Marshmallow. And there we have the freshest and the best version of android yet let's go to the app settings as you can see the notification bar is different we have the slider mechanism here that's that's definitely marshmallow right there but let's go ahead and check out let's open up settings let's scroll down to and as you can see over here it says android version 6.0.1 right there let me tap that and boom there we have it android version m marshmallow and there we have the marshmallow symbol mm, looks really tasty now that's marshmallow guys the process was completed let us check out if this has that android easter egg game or not let, let me tap that i don't think that ha oh right it does have it that's cool all right so now we have the most ridiculous game in the entire android world the android i don't know what they call it but you know it's one of the most difficult game out there I mean, we do have the same thing on uh, lollipop, but you know, instead of marshmallows hanging from the sticks, we have lollipops hanging from the stick, which looks more realistic than two marshmallows hanging with eyes. Now folks, here is something new that you should check out. If I long press on the settings icon, which is on the notification panel, it starts to spin. I don't know if you can see that or not. Uh, which activates another set of options that helps us to have better control over the UI. So yeah folks, that's about it. This is the video about me installing Marshmallow on my device. I hope you like this video and if you want to watch more videos on Marshmallow, then please give this video a big thumbs up and do subscribe to my channel if you haven't already to watch more interesting Android videos like this one. So yeah, that's about it. I'm your host HK from The Android Guy, signing off. And as always, you folks, have a great day. Peace.